What up, Mr. Paul? How are you? How good are you? Yeah. Good. Um, all right, purpose of this video is we want to let people know three things yep. that people won't expect that you don't like. Slimy fucking food. All right, talk to about that. Mangoes, you know, when you've peeled a mango and it's got that, that slime over it. I cannot be doing with handling that. that Absolutely sick? hanging. Oh, what, what, what no, I, like just, I just can't touch it. It's horrid. Avocados, they're the same. Once you've took the skin off that, yeah, all slippy and not slippy, minging yeah. on the outside. And raw chicken. Raw chicken. I get the raw chicken one. It's a bit mank, isn't it? Yeah, thighs especially. Oh, oh yeah, chicken thighs. Yeah, they're proper slippy. Yeah, yeah, and really even cool. more so when they're close to date. When they're about to go out of date. Yeah, yeah. And you pick them up, they've got a minging film on it. Oh, uh, no. Not no, you, no. No, 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 no. No. Second thing, I'm scared of fish. Like genuine, genuine right, fear. Scared of eating fish or scared of like being in the sea with fish? Being in the sea with fish. Do you eat fish? I eat it. Can I, t I can touch it. And if it's dead, I'm alright. Yeah. You know them fuckers that put the feet in them thing in them tanks to and get the nibble your Whoa, what? <laughs> no, no. On my uh, on my honeymoon, me and Lisa, we weren't going out very long before we got married, maybe only like seven months or something. And uh, when we went on honeymoon, we went to Mexico and she took me snorkeling. And I was still beating, trying to play the big man so and still trying to impress her. Trying to play cool, right? Yeah. And it gets in this pool and there was fucking fish everywhere. And I was like, I need to get out. I need to get out. I need to fucking get out of this water. <laughs> like, they're fucking horrible. Just the feeling of it. Yeah, yeah. No, I get that. I used, I used, I used to thought of them as well. Thought of it coming near you. I, think I don't think I've ever actually had one touch me. They never touch you, you know? No. Because you feel like they're going to, but they actually just move away from you, but they're close to you, though. Yeah. So I, I understand that one. What I don't really share is uh, in 2003, I was yeah. serving in Cyprus with the British Army on a post out there. I was there for two years and yeah. I got a bit of a smuggling racket going. I was bringing fags in from Turkey into Northern Cyprus, into Southern Cyprus and back to the UK. Well, make a good profits on them. Yeah, yeah, I was buying them for eight quid and selling them for 30 in England. So it was oh, really? decent. Yeah, yeah. And I was doing like tens of thousands at a time. Is that a full got... operation then at this point? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and I got caught. I uh, got sentenced to two years in uh, in a Greek Cypriot prison, which was horrible. Did you have to serve it? Horrible. No, I got, no. I, got, um, I, got, I got sentenced. Yeah, yeah. Sentenced. Did four days. Uh, and my that. appeal came through straight away. Yeah. What was it like? Horrendous. Like horrendous. You know, like something you'd see in a, in a fucking movie? Yeah, just like nothing there. Just dark. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's all I remember about it being dark. It was dark, constantly dark. Did you think it were, um, obviously, you didn't know you were going to get the appeal? Did you think it were like curtains for you? Or yeah, yeah, totally. Oh, did you? Totally, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the worst part was in the court case, um, everything that was happening in the court case was all done in Greek. I didn't have a clue. I had an interpreter, but he didn't feed back Holy. to me unless it was a question. Right, okay. The sentencing day was horrible because he was reading the sentencing to me when they found me guilty in Greek. Yeah. And I didn't know what was happening. And my solicitor was. Uh, Andreas, his name was. He was like shout out to Andreas. He, uh, <laughs> he was uh, he was taking the information and then translating it. And the the judge read out the verdict in Greek. I didn't know what was being said. And he looked at me. My solicitor looked at me. and He went, "Oh, I have. is that all he did to you?" Yeah. So you at that point you were fucked. I was like, "What? What the fuck what does that mean?" Uh, there was because lots of outcomes. And in the end, I appealed. Um, the military actually backed my appeal, which was good. What what grounds is the what the the appeal on? Like the truth. Uh, yeah, it was a two thousand pound fine. They still found me guilty. Uh, two thousand pound fine, which back then was a lot of money uh, yeah. in the job I was in as well. Yeah, uh, and then the stung a bit. Yeah, and then they yeah. deported me from the island. And then the army's punishment for me then was to become a training instructor. Uh, they saw that as a punishment post, as did I, uh, did to you? move from Cyprus back to. Uh, all the shot in. Yeah. Uh, At least you can put deported on your bucket list. Yeah, yeah. Not many people can say they've been deported. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, trying times that was. Trying times. You live and you learn, though. Right? That's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everything we've done, it shapes us, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Never. Now we know to never do that again. I certainly do. <laughs>